How's it going guys? Um, back here again, Nangamil, for another one night camp. I'm actually gonna try to do a minimalist setup today and I'll show you what that looks like. But first, let's get all set up. I'll run a time lapse and yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's, that's my tent for tonight. That's where I'll be sleeping. Um, but not quite done yet. Got three more things to add. I've got this. A chair. And one of these things. Um, this is, basically folds out and it's easy to access you know, things for cooking, things for lighting, bug repellent, etc., etc. Just folds out and it organizes things uh, quite conveniently. Oh, and I also can't forget my esky and some water. And this is my minimalist setup for tonight. Yeah, really not much to it. I haven't produced much videos uh, lately since the summer, as you probably noticed. I just refuse to camp in summer, guys. It is, it was actually the hottest summer in Australia on record. We had multiple days where it was 40 degrees. Yeah, look, even when it's 30 degrees, I don't even like camping. Um, Cause it's just, it's just unbearable. I do not enjoy it at all. But anyways, autumn's here. So I'm coming back out and try to make more regular videos. Just parking and camping. And it's just gonna be more enjoyable. So I just want to talk a bit about my setup here and why I've chosen this layout. So in previous videos you've, you've seen, I've had a lot more than just, I've had a gaz red gazebo, I've had even a uh, pop-up foldable kitchen setup kind of thing as well, which is really good and all. But, I don't know, it's a hassle to pack up when you have so much stuff. Um, and you really, I just want to emphasize here, you really don't need a lot of stuff to have a good time camping, okay? You don't need to buy a lot of stuff to have a really good time outdoors. Of course, you do need, and the main thing is, is a good tent or swag, so I have here. Um, and I would say even invest, invest, if you're going to spend a lot of money, invest that in your sleeping setup and maybe, maybe your tent, but that's a big reach. You, you don't have to spend a lot of money on a tent. But I would, I would say invest, if you're gonna spend a lot of money on one item, make it your sleeping system. Have a good sleeping bag, but also have a good um, pillow and sleeping mattress, whatever you choose to sleep on. Um, because, you know, if you go cheap, don't expect to have a good night's sleep. That's, that's what I say. Back to the point, there's not a lot here, but I'm having a great time. completely bulldozed this section of trees and stuff. It used to be a pretty good camping site up there as well. This is where, the first, this is where I first went camping, was up there somewhere. And now it's just a pile of leaf litter and tree junk and all sorts of crap. A bit unfortunate, I don't know why they would do that. God damn. 
What a shame. So I think they got rid of the old bridge that used to be up there where we went earlier. Um, this one seems to be the only one that's left, but it looks a little bit sketchy. Let's check it out. leads to a lake. Guys, I could sit here all night next to this fire and just watch until it goes out. <laughs> it is so warm and so nice, that's all I can say. <laughs>